drippy. What do you say? He looks like a fairy, ain't it? There's awkward. Well, as long as he doesn't steal my material, I'm fine with it. I'm pretty sure Lilith get won't, but just in case, I'll keep an eye on my new son. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 10 of Nino Kuni. So, uh, we're going to continue on our merry little way through Golden Grove, of course. And, uh, yeah, so, let's do it then. Now, as I go back, I am going to, well, actually, no, I can't because of the soul fa- Actually, no, I can't. The music of Golden Grove, I forgot to mention, is great. Because it simply is. So, if this Incy could get out of my way, please, I would be happy to let you listen to it a little bit. Because that's just what I do when it comes to great video game music. That orchestral music, man. I just love it. It's so great. <laughs> Again, orchestral music in video games is my life. It's my jam. It's my everything. It's my everything in this world, and I refuse to believe that it will never not be my life. Ever. Alright, got a pom pom there. Let's sneak by him. Yes. No. No. <laughs> Why? Why does that happen? Oh yeah, and our new familiar Lilligant is level one. Yep, that's a thing. But she, but I'm I'm just gonna call. Well, actually, he's more like a boy. He goes to level three, so that's good. And I'm just gonna say they they learned water bomb, so that's good. That's cool. That is very cool. Hold on, just a minute. I just had a brainwave. We can make those mushrooms grow with magic. Ah. Unfortunately, quicken growth costs MP, so. Eh? And that's cool, because now we have a shortcut back to the first uh, waystone, aka the entrance. So that's cool. So we haven't been this way yet, so let's head on over to the this way. And once again, use quicken growth. Because that's just what we do. Gotta love how each individual mushroom is is uh, planted with that spell, so that's cool. That's real cool. Um, whenever you get the whenever you get the seed sprite, by the way, um, you typically don't want to use the guy in battle because, well, he is level one, and you won't be able to get any sort of good deal out of him until at least you know he's a few levels in. So, I would probably suggest hold, holding off on using using the seed sprite. Otherwise, you can just do whatever. Also, I'm poisoned. And also, fun fact, while I was getting to the spot where I am, I got poisoned. But thankfully, it wears off uh, when you get out of battle, so thank god. Lilligant gets to level 4, and as you can see, Lilligant in his species is more of a magic user. As you can see, his magic stack, stack, but magic attack is through the roof, so that's really cool. Uh, actually, speaking of which... Do you want to actually, you know, equip him with some stuff? So that harpoon should do very well. We don't have any clothes for him. And we got the Battle of badge on uh, WoW, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, might as well outfit him with something rather than nothing, right? Uh, I don't want to fight. Actually, yes, I do. 
And actually, thankfully, uh, uh, Lilligant is a, uh, star, so, oh my god, no. Poor judgment. Poor judgment. I'm never not gonna have poor judgment, am I? Trust me, there are gonna be situations where I have extremely poor judgment later on. Just, just saying, there are gonna be points of that happening. All right, no level up, but at least we got pie. We love pie. <laughs> we got to have some pie, right? And, uh, oh, yes. That signifies that we're getting close to the end of Golden Grove. Thank God, actually. Thank God. Let's see, can we spring this lock? Nope. Even at our current wand is our most powerful yet. We can't do anything about that, unfortunately. But at the very least, we healed up, and that's all that matters. So, there you go. Um, let me see. G what? Uh, let me see. Well, actually, we can equip a new Shrek onto him. Onto Lilligant. We have Drowsy Drops. We already showed that. Uh, Water Bomb will definitely equip onto him. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be using... Using Lilligan for a little bit. But, you know, I will make use of him yet. I will make use of him. Alright, I think we're actually good to go. Uh, but uh, healing items. Let's see. Actually, no, 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 no. We haven't been to the creature cage in like a little while. Plus, we got a new familiar to feed. So, let's do that then. Uh, we're going to feed some chocolate. To increase his attack. And he really, really likes chocolate. So, thankfully, that's a thing. And we got his attack stat up by one. Uh, who needs defense? Oh, I know, definitely Lilligant needs defense. Definitely. So, we are going to feed him some flan. Yay. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another one in. You can't skip these, by the way, so you're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, but uh, we don't have anything that increases... Uh, no. We don't have any increases magic attack. Uh, we do have evasion, though. Who needs evasion? They need evasion. Uh, hmm. Actually, uh, Lamal can do with some uh, accuracy. We got Sweetie Pie Pies from Psyquests. So we might as well give him some of that. Increased by one and a half. That's actually not that bad at all. You definitely want to feed your familiars more often than not. Just so they can get, you know, just a bit more powerful. So definitely remember to feed your familiars every so often. And on that though, I think we should give, you know, Lil again some ice cream. Salted ice cream. I hear that was a favorite if... Of Kingdom Hearts because you know there was literally a key item called salt sea salt ice cream in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 and that's apparently a thing and apparently it doesn't really melt so that's a thing also all right so I think we've done enough feeding I think we're all prepared and uh, let's see checking on my items yeah I'm good I am good all right, so we have a thing up ahead. Let's see what all that's about, because if we have a big open clearing like this, then it's probably not going to be a good. Look, Mr. Drippy, it's a fountain. But it's all dried up. Deary, deary me, this ain't too pretty, is it? But now we know what the problem is, at least. We do? Well, this is the spring of life. It's what... The plenty if uh, it's what put the plenty in forest to plenty. The reason fairies have scarpered in the tree that familiar egg was in was all withers because the spring by here is run dry. Of all the low moves, who would do something like this? Proper despicable. It did. Uh oh. What's wrong, Mister Drippy? I got a feeling in my lantern that the culprit is about to appear. He is. Trust me, man. It's how these things always happen.
Sí. Even the boss name has to have a pun, man. The Gladiator! Oh, God. Uh. Yeah, I'm going for Lil again. I'm actually gonna see if I can try to put him to sleep. Let me see if I can do that. Nope! Oh, wait, actually, yes! <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna do it, but there it goes. Alright, let's do it. Let's go wild. Yeah, there we go. We can attack for a really long time, and oh my god, they already have... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, he is about to do the thing. And that was too late. Oh. Nine damage. Well, that's not horrible, but it's also not good either. Okay, you can stop. You can stop! Let's have it swipe. Come on. Yes, there we go. And I really need to heal up. Because I just do. And those glims will help me out. Please. Okay, good. And healing touch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The Gladiator can be actually really, really tough. Especially with that Everblade attack. And if there was ever a time not to do your... Uh, use your new familiar, then definitely don't. Definitely don't do that. Because it's going to hurt a lot if you use such a creature with uh, weak defense. So, there you go. Alright, you can do your attack at any moment now. I want a nice. I want a nice. I want to do a miracle move on you. I'm just telling you. Yep, there it is. Okay, there we go. So... The chances of a Golden Glim uh, appearing on the battlefield are random. Definitely. It all depends on how many nices you get. I'm not sure if that's how that works, but for me, it's always been like that. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just make sure you get enough nices before you move on. And by the way, you can cancel out, you can cancel out commands, but you'll be locked into a much uh, slower cooldown time if you do so. Okay, I'm actually going to do another Drowsy Drops. Just to make him fall asleep again. And that doesn't necessarily work. Okay, uh... Let me see if I can evade him. Shit. Oh! <laughs> nope! 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 That didn't... That didn't work! Crap! Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to use a sandwich. Good. See, now while I'm moving out in the battlefield, that basically means... That basically means I'm just dodging. If I'm ever just running away from the enemy like this, that usually just means I'm missing their regular attacks and not their special attacks. So moving around in the field is good. It's definitely good. Ooh. Well, I could have technically counterattacked right there, but, you know. It's all good, I guess. Ooh. Counterattack, yes. There we go. There we go. That's how counterattacks will work. That's how they do. Just want to make sure you get your timing of the attack just right. Okay, Savage Swipe again. I'm going to defend. There we go. Get some more blue glims right there. Um, running out of stamina. Crip. Crip, crap. Okay, I'm just using... I'm just basically using Lilligan here. Just so that, that he can get some action. And let's see if I can evade this one. Oh my god, it actually works! Okay. Okay, okay, Lilligant, let's go. Let us go. Oh, yes. And when I do that, I want to psych up and just go nuts. Yes! Yes! And cancelled out. Oh god, now he's pissed. Now he's pissed. 
the phase two. All right, so now he's enraged. And that'll basically mean his attacks are getting stronger, I believe. Hopefully I'm right, because <laughs> I don't know anything about this video game of mine. I'm just doing it because I do. All right, so it's not nothing seems to be working, so might as well just wail on him. Might as well just do it if all else fails, I guess. Oh boy. I got a bad feeling about this. It looks like he's about to go flipping ballistic. Put your god up, man, quick. Oh boy. Headlong rush. That's his best attack. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, Drippy. He's gonna help. Take this, you big bully. Oh, shit. Yes. Yes. Now's our chance, baby. Ah, uh, I could... You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just hurry up and just get him. Please. Alright. Chance time. Chance time. Let's do the chance time. Knock, knock the glimpse out of him. Knock the glimpse out of him. Oh! Yes. 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 I'm actually going to use this opportunity to show off the familiar's, uh... Golden Glimp Miracle Move. Slash Dance. If I can't do that. Yes! Obviously doesn't do as much as Burning Heart does, but... That's still pretty great if you can get off a Miracle Move off of any one of your guys. All right. Wow. Okay. Oliver, wow, and Lil get, all get level ups. And we get a Spirit of the Glade. Oliver gets to level 11. Wow gets to level 11. And Lil again goes all the way from 4 to 7. And we got a page describing the Gladiator. Yes. Thank goodness, that horrible creature has gone. That wasn't just any old creature, Ollie boy. That was the guardian of this here forest. Guardian? You mean like the guardian of the woods? That I do. It's like I said, ain't it? Life forests can make things pop up all over the place. And in places like this forest, the desire of the inhabitants to protect their home gives birth to massive guardian beasties, see? Beasties like that, you've... Like that one you fought in the deep dark wood and the lad we just met. I don't know if you noticed, but his eyes were proper funny. Do you think Shadar? I wouldn't be surprised if he hadn't hand in his sordid little affair. Drawing up a spring is just a kind of low trick, down trick he'd play. The curse. Well, the guardian is back to his old self. But what are we going to do about the spring of life, hmm? I've been thinking about that, Mr. Drippy. We healed the tree the egg was in with a spell, didn't we? Could we maybe use the same spell to restore the spring of life? There's clever of you, Ollie boy. Reckon some of my brains must be rubbing off on you. Give it a try, my lad. All right, Mr. Drippy. I sure hope it works. And knowing our luck, it probably will. <laughs> So this is the real spring of life. It's so pretty. It is indeed. And now the Guardian and Spring are back to their normal selves. The fairies won't be too far behind. Neato. I sure hope we get to meet some of the fairies next time we're here. Me too, Ollie boy. Me too. Right. To Alma Moon. Yes, sir. The 
Purity of the Heart of Spring of Life has unlocked a story in the Wizard's Companion. And we got a new Tale of Wonder. Definitely something that is going to definitely receive its own video because the Wizard's Companion is huge. Like, okay, just to show it off really quick. Like, this is the home page right here. This is all the home page has to offer to us. And it's actually in 60 frames per second. <laughs> like, this is... This is so much to take in. So much supplementary material. Like magic, alchemy, equipment, provisions, creatures and familiars, tall tales of wonder, and regions of the world. There is a lot to this book. There is definitely a lot. Including this alphabet right here. This mysterious alphabet. Called the Nazcon script. Definitely want to remember this for later. But yeah, that's the wizard's companion for it. It's super huge. It's super supplementary. But it's definitely going to be receiving its own video. Because, wow. I brought in there a probably messy uh, monsters around here. Don't be trying to be a hard man and take them all on. Just hurry up and get to Alma Moon. That didn't even warrant an ain't it, but okay. <laughs> like, how, just hurry up and get to Alma Moon, ain't it? I I don't get Drippy's, you know, method of speech. But who am I to judge? A person playing an incredibly long video game. That's That's how it is. For potentially 100 videos. <laughs> yep, potentially 100 videos, yep. Um, I don't really plan on doing any more fighting, but if I have to, then I will have to. Because this guy just sort of just snuck up on me at will. Green Buncher and Turn Bandit. Our first enemies in the desert. And thank God there are no more moons, thank God. Thank you, God, there are no longer any of those freaking moon enemies because those were jerks they were such jerks to me caused me to get a game over twice i don't even think like i don't even think god okay errors have been made errors have been made errors have been made uh, um, um can you can you please all right thank god <laughs> i didn't actually mean to run away i was just sort of trying to get to the spell thing but no, this guy's actually weak to fire, so thank God. Oh, man. But, yeah. Um. What was I going to say? Crap. The battle loss track loss made me lose my train of thought. Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, uh, I don't really plan on doing any more fighting, but if I have to, then I gotta. Either to show off a new enemy or just to, well, fight the same guys that I did before, but, you know. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. So yeah, this area is infested with a whole bunch of enemies. And it's definitely much wider than the Rolling Hills were. Because we made it to the Shivering Sands, where Alma Moon is. And we made it. Court of the Khalifa. That's good name. Here we are, Alma Moon. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Before we go babanas, though, how about we try finding this shirt? It's what we came for after all. You're right. We should ask around if we find out if anybody knows him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you know where I can find the Great Sage Rashad? The Great Sage Rashad? 
It is a long time since he was called by that name. These days, you'd be better to ask for Rashad, seller of Babanas. He sells Babanas? You mean he's not a sage anymore? But getting him to teach me about magic is our whole reason for coming here. Hmm, there's worrying. Still, we were after a Babana split anyway, so we might as well stop by and see what's what, ain't it? I guess. Okay, let's go find Rashad. Yes, yes indeed. We have made it to a brand new town, Almamoon. And we gotta find Rashad, which is apparently over there, and... Filled with a whole bunch of side quests. Oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time here. Next time on Nino Kuni, we are going to see the, the great Babana's seller, Rashad. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.